Well, there's no one here before opening time at the back of the gallery in Bangkok. A labor of love, curator and artist. Um, come look at the new work. It's Marley McFly. Um, I first I seen his work with a friend of mine, Crash. Pointed out this kid's pretty hot and I love what he's doing. He's very Japanese for some reason. <laughs> I do like it. You like it? Yes. It's really cool. So he's Marley McFly. All on wood, love it. And now, one of my personal favorites. Edmund! <laughs> really taking that whole letter form from 2D to 3D to 4D to what I call Escher. Um, and it's really, really cool. I want to show you another piece that he's done, which I really love. I mean, this is dealing with real letter form. You know, a lot of those art guys who were really messing with 3D to 4D to Escher, which I spoke about. I, mean, I love it. I just love it. Vils. What can you say about Vils? I mean, he's, he started as a graffiti writer and he just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But conceptually, he's doing some amazing stuff. You know, the idea of an artist taking away from the surface, of course, he started with billboards and everything else, concrete walls, moving into concrete walls. The idea of him taking away is almost like, especially in the urban environment, a bit like urban archaeology. Like you're discovering layers of, I don't know, capitalism, if you like, or layers of our city was breathing before, or whether the stonework or by advertising hoardings. I think it's fascinating. But it's taking it a stage further. I just love this. Because he's taking. You know, like the scrapyard, getting a solid piece of metal and just crushing it and wrapping the art around it. It's genius. He's got a bit of a Jeff Koons feel to it because I just want to, I just want to touch it. I just want to kind of reach out and kind of touch it. It's just got this thing about being so crushed, <laughs> but the way that it's all wrapped up, it's fascinating. I think it's fascinating. Everything about it is like, wow. Another artist that I'm looking at is this theme. Unbelievable response. It's Bisco Smith in New York. Sometimes it's not just about the size, it's about the simplicity. Look at this. Taking that tank star, what she does. It just goes at it and it's just simple but there's something about street art that makes it so accessible and so vibrant and so new so no this is one of the smaller pieces it's got a few bigger than this which are amazing zaki d a really famous writer and a good friend of mine from london said you've got to check out epos work man and they collaborated on a few walls and i love his work i just and he was doing stuff that was really small but so much better at his size Love it. Again, it's that archaeology. You're going into these layers and digging up whatever past advertising the city's just gone bye, 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 bye. Love it. Fascinating metalwork with the idea of oxidization and acids and lipo, taking it back to lipo printing. She still remains for me my favorite artist because there's such a transparency in her work. It's like, I always wanted to be able to paint with transparency without using transparent aerosol paint, which is easy, right? It's the detail. Some of the transcribe, some of the words, the letters. Inside, it's telling the whole of the story that I love. It's exciting. <laughs> Never thought I'd have a gallery, but you know, I only get galleries. It gets exciting when you change the work around. And you get to see everyone else's expression of how they want to how they see the world. It's really getting comfy in here now. It's getting like a place where 
world speaks for itself. VHS. You know, I still think it's like that David Byrne feel. You know, that could, that could for me, could be like a talking heads record sleeve. I love it. Really good. I love the scale of it too. How big it is, you know? Oh my God. Is there so much more great work in here? So I'm gonna give you my last two for today. Astro, working on perspective, which I really love. And Helio, Helio Break. Not too unsimilar to my own work, working in half time. But he actually uses a reverse process, or I use the positive process, he uses the reverse process. Or I use the negative and he uses the positive. Either way, it's great how, you know, when you think of art and where we're going with it and we're using different techniques. I love the way he's found his own way of working with my work. You know, he's a bit like me, he's gone through letter form to come out the other side with by working portraiture in a way that we're giving it through the medium which I really, really love. Have a great week. Peace.